right. <clears throat> so we're back out for another hiking video. Uh, we're heading back to the uh, uh, Hapata Trailhead. Uh, so we're at 15430 Southwest 484. Um, if you look just up the road here, that's the uh, Marion County Airport, the uh, Donellan um, Field. <clears throat> it's just right as you see that, as you get past it coming from the villages, uh, you're probably about another mile down and is the entrance right here off of 484. So let's, uh, let's get going and uh, uh, I'll show you the, the first parking area because <clears throat> there's, I want to see if there's a, the bathroom is still there, the porta john and then we'll head on down to the Hapata Trail. And by the way, this, this is the Pruitt Trail right here uh, for the Florida Trail, which we've done in previous videos. So let's get going. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the first parking area and we've got this on previous videos. Uh, if you were gonna do the Florida Trail or the Pruitt, Pruitt, uh, the Pruitt Trailhead here, and of course the Porta John is still there. I just wanted to make sure so that I could get that on the video. And of course you do have some picnic tables and I'll probably have a picnic when I'm done with today's hike. Uh, so right over here is the entrance to the Pruitt Trail. Uh, th that's also a mountain bike trail. Uh, if you see there's a green post over here. So if you're a mountain biker, I, I do see a lot of mountain bikers here. I want to do, a, I'm going to ride it on my mountain bike at some day. Uh, but today I'm just here for a hike. Uh, of course, you know, it's also an agrarian area, lots of horses. So let's get on down to the Hapata Trail. So it's kind of weird here. This is called the Hapata Tastang. Naki Preserve, uh, and uh, you can see there's no uh, nobody here but me. <laughs> you know, I'm not even sure many people know this exists. Um, so anyway, uh, you know, we're just going to get going. Now you've already seen this, and I've already done the sign, so I'm just going to get on the trail. Now, what we're going to do is, as you go down this road, uh, well, hell, I'll, I'll get it on the get it on the map over here. Uh, as you go down this road, there's various uh, directions you can go. Uh, I'm going to see, let's see, we're right here. There's 484. See, we came in, came in on this road to right here. Um, so we're, the last time I went out this way and just did, biked as far as I could. So today we're going to make this left. Now, the only thing I have, of course, you got a trail map right here you can grab. I'm, I don't need to grab it, you know. I like uh, getting lost and wondering if I get back before dark. But, uh... You can see it's just uh, it's kind of wide open. You wouldn't want to be out here on a hot day because there's not a lot of shit. Well, actually, where we're going, uh, at least in the beginning, because I only did the beginning of it, uh, it was very shaded. So we'll we'll see what it looks like when we get there. I won't uh, make uh, no more video because you've seen this before. Uh, well, we might get one or two on the way out to where I'm going to be. Now, really, what what I was should have done is brought the mountain bike but i just haven't gotten a hike in for a while and uh, i've been wanting to to do this and uh the only protection that i got and you know with me i didn't even bring the walking stick and you could i mean you know i just uh i just left it because i it's really flat easy hike i got the bear spray along though now there is a sign well we'll, we'll get up there and i'll show it to you but it does not show that there's any bear in here <clears throat> now i can't believe that um Mainly, I, you know, I'm more worried about like wild pigs or, you know, things of that nature. But uh, I haven't heard of any animal attacks in this area uh, on the news or anything. And I'm a news hound. All right, let's get going. You know, Florida man, Florida man, as you hike here in Florida, you always see the weird stuff. I mean, kind of strange, you know, they just leave the equipment just sitting out here in the forest. And then there's a mailbox right there, which we looked in. There was a rock in there. And I don't know what these rock piles are all about, but uh, I just find it strange that, you know, can you imagine how much that equipment cost? And it's just sitting out here in the middle of nowhere. We're just coming down this road. Now up here, it's going to transition into a grass road. I'll get that on the next clip. So this is what I was talking about. <clears throat> so we've come down this uh, kind of a gravelly type road. Um, Great for great for mountain biking and whole way in here is great for mountain biking and we made a previous video because you can go to the right here This is another trail and I made a video of me with the dog and We went on down there and actually enters into a group of trees as you get down And then this is what I was talking about because it does turn into a grassy road at this point So we're just going to continue on up this way um, You know and uh, and that's the reason why I haven't made a video for a while 
was my wife, uh, well, my soon-to-be ex-wife uh, gave me the dog over the holidays, and so I just, uh, I just wanted to hang out with the dog. I spent every every moment of Christmas, and uh, uh, you know, I, of course, the day after Christmas, I still had the dog, and uh, she picked him up yesterday. So it's just me in the house now, and uh, so I just want to get out and make a good hiking video, enjoy the day, uh, since I don't have the dog. You know, I, it, that's you know, that's one problem with my dog is I would love to bring him here, uh, and he did a good job going down that road to the right over there. But uh, he can't hike but a certain distance, and uh, we're going to do a long hike today. It's a, it's a ways to get up to where the next clip on the video is going to be, so I'll just uh, clip it off right there. But you can see it's uh, quite beautiful here, and, but no shade, that's what I was saying. You know, you, you're going to be out here cooking. Luckily, there's a few clouds in the sky today, and it is a warm day, actually, for, for Florida for this time of the year. Um, I, I wore the long pants, or my hiking pants, I should call them. Uh, well, here, I'll just show you. So, but you know, you, you can, I mean, I really should have worn shorts uh, <clears throat> or hiking shorts. But uh, anyway, I, I thought it was gonna be colder and uh, it wasn't until I, you know, I mean, I walked out the door and I, <laughs> I don't know about you, I'm lazy, man. I already had the pants on and blue boot blast and the hiking shoes on. I said, screw it, man. I, I'm not gonna switch out into some shorts. But uh, this is what it looks like. Let's get, I'll get the next clip uh, way on up. Okay, in a previous video, we've been here. So we came down that road, uh, I don't know, maybe a mile or two, I, I have no idea. And a nice touch, you know, I got this on a previous video. There is a picnic table here. If you just wanted a brief hike and come out here for a picnic, I mean, look at this. It'd be a beautiful place to, to bring a, a lunch. <clears throat> but this is what I was talking about, about why I'm not sure if there's any bears in here because this lists all of the plants and animals that you're likely to see on this trail and uh there's no uh no mention of a bear in here at all uh you know i'll, I'll just list a couple of them for longleaf pine red-tailed hawk uh coral bean burrowing owl arrowroot nine-branded armadillo broom's edge gopher tortoise uh little blue heron saint andrew's cross uh Alligator snapping turtle. I don't even know how you pronounce that. And Henga and Henga. I guess it's a type of bird. Um, a button bush, a river cooter, pale meadow beauty, great blue heron, double crested cormorant, pickle, pick, pick, pickler, weed, uh, wood stork, fetter bush, great egret. See what I'm saying? And, and so they don't show anything about the uh, uh, <clears throat> any bears, you know. I would imagine, you know, and I certainly no signs around here have said beware of bears. So who knows? I, and I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen any evidence of wild pigs uh, on this trail. So who knows? Um, so anyway, this last time we were here, we went mountain biking down that trail right there. You see my bear spray. Uh, so uh, mainly for wild pigs, I think. I love this little monument here that they got. So this is where we're going. We're making the left here rather than going to the right, which is where we went last time. And uh, see, how, see what I was talking about? It, it's diving back into the trees here. I only went a little ways down here the last time I was hiking. And, uh, and this was another thing I was pointing out. And to the trail crews, uh, they've cut a new way around this. and But they need to rope that area off so that it can reclaim uh, and just keep any traffic from going through there. Because it looks like some vehicles have driven through uh, when they should have been taking this route right here. Um, so anyway, let's wait till we get uh, back in the trees and then we'll get some more video. It's a uh, beautiful day here. Beautiful day. We're going to be out hiking about, uh, oh, well, I'd say three hours. I got a late start, unfortunately. Uh, I was having uh, still issues from leftover from yesterday before I could get out here on the trail. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get going. Now, hopefully you're seeing why I was dying to get back on this trail. Look at this. The trees overhang right here. That's about as far as I made it the, the last time I came back here. And uh, so we're in virgin territory at this point, which is always exciting to me. Um, but uh, this is kind of a, you know, it's kind of a wooded uh, road. That's all it is, is just a road, but uh, well-maintained. You know, that's another thing. You know, I, you don't really, that's why I said you don't need the hiking pants. You could do this in shorts. Um, now you can see there's been you know, a lot of, horses back here so the sand is kicked up a bit but it's not too horsey uh so we're gonna be out here a good long time 
Uh, if I see another transition, I'll get the get another clip. But uh, for this part of the trail, you're just kind of hiking through some some mossy trees and uh, just beautiful, just beautiful, gorgeous. Uh, so we're, and plus we, you, that's another thing. You, as you get further and further out, you're getting way back here. You know, I mean we're we're getting deep, deep, deep into the forest here in Florida. Um, so it's uh, it's got a good feel to it. Uh, let's just keep on going. So this is very interesting. You know, the marker's there on the tree, and it's saying, go that way. Uh, but over here, we've got a little inlet. I think this is just going down to a swampy area. I'm going to walk down here and just get it on the video. Because um, I don't think that's supposed to be a trail. Uh, but you can see it's really narrowing down. I mean, we're getting... Maybe it's a good thing I do have the hiking pants on. I don't know. I wasn't expecting that, because everywhere else I've been in, Empata has just been a, basically a road. But let's get up here and see what we see. So... I mean, if you had a, a Jeep or a, well, even a, even a pickup truck with a lift kit, I mean, you're, gonna, you're in the mud here for sure, and then it dives into this, I mean, he wouldn't want to hike this for sure. This is that left-hand fork. Uh, you can see there's water right here on the trail, so you would need a serious uh, four-wheel drive vehicle to do this. Uh, and then, of course, if you're hiking, you could probably get around it going through the bushes there. But I'm going to go back and hit the other trail. Let's head on back. I just wanted to see what that was. I thought that was water that I was seeing from back there, but you know, it looks like a vehicle's been through here recently. I mean, look at that. Those are fresh treads, it looks like. I don't know why they would drive through here, but whatever. I guess if I had a my old four-wheel drive truck, I might, back in the day when I was young, I'd probably do something stupid like that. So if it wasn't for that mark on the tree, and of course that orange bow, I would not, I would not have known that this is the trail. Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd probably hike it anyway just to see where it's going. And see, there's another orange bow on the tree. So, but uh, it's uh, it's turned into a trail at this point. <laughs> I mean, it's still kind of a road, but, uh, uh, you know, it's uh, it's getting to be a real interesting hike. Let's just put it that way. I mean, we're, we're back in here, and uh, I'll get another clip when we get something. You can see it's a, well, maybe it's a, I think it's a good thing. I got the hikers on. Look at that. They haven't cut this for a while. I mean, they've cut it, obviously, but it's it's not like uh, walking down that uh, gravelly road or, or the other one. And, uh, boy, I tell you, I can see we're getting a vehicle through here. You know, of course, no way I could drive a... You couldn't drive a car through here. You'd have to have some sort of four-wheel drive, but, you know, it's going to get scratched up on the side here because they haven't widened it out enough. But we're... Uh, this is getting to be... Let me get you a look at... Look at what I'm seeing. So we're getting into a pine forest now. Nice transition. Very nice. All right, we'll get another clip when things change. Uh, so this is uh, this is getting to be a very interesting hike. <clears throat> you know, on that note, uh, I uh, now I'm very glad that I'm hiking today rather than mountain biking because I'm not I'm not steady enough on that mountain bike to do a trail like this. I mean, I I could probably make it, but uh, I, I think this would be a, a pretty, well, I mean, for, not for a real mountain biker back in the day when I could do anything, this wouldn't be that bad. But uh, for for me now, because it, it, the ground is kind of soft, so you're going to be pedaling hard to get through here. And plus, it's pretty uh, not flat. Let's just put it that way. You're going you're gonna to be hitting uh, mounds of dirt, and, there, and there's roots sticking up and uh, stumps sticking up. You know, so you've got, uh, this would be a tough, tough mountain bike ride. I, so I'm glad I'm glad I'm hiking it today I did not know what to expect and uh, that's why you know a lot of times I'll come out and hike a trail first before I bring a mountain bike uh, just because I'm fat and old and can't do a whole lot see what I'm talking about and how hilly it is all right but let's get a quick view see what I'm seeing very nice I mean you're you're way back here you're way back here you know I'm seeing a, a lot of these uh, orange ribbons on the trees so I'm 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 wondering if this is just a freshly cut new trail. Probably may not have existed a year or two ago. Of course, over here, well, I, mean, I guess what they're doing is they're rerouting it. Look, don't you remember back there where we were looking at the water? I think that used to be the trail right over here, and it's underwater, so that's why they're cutting a whole new trail here. Uh, that makes sense. All right, we're probably going to loop back, I bet, to where this, the trail used to be. Because they felt like, you know, they're going to let that reclaim 
hopefully. Like I said, it looked like a vehicle had been through there. Don't know why. Uh, maybe they went through there first before they cut this uh, this new section here. So let's keep on going. So the mystery solved. I was completely correct. They got the marker there on the tree going back. So what they're going to do is let that reclaim. And this is this is the way the trail used to go. Um, so and you can see the transition back into the. I guess those are oak trees. I'm not sure. I'm not a horticulturalist or whatever the people that can identify plants and what type they are and all of that. But you can see now more or less you're getting back onto just a, a kind of a sandy road. So what they did is they just rerouted it around that watery area. Uh, so that's a good, you know, and uh, what they do, you know, when they, when they do that, I mean, it's a lot of work, but I would put up tape to keep any, any traffic and just let that whole section of the trail reclaim, you know, because you don't want any, I mean, you know, you never know. I mean, somebody might come back here that's doing maintenance and think that they got to cut that and then, you know, they get to the, it looks like they, that's exactly what they did. They probably got to the water and said, no, let's just back up, you know. So that's going to keep that area from reclaiming. They need to rope it off or put some, you know, put a fence up or something to, to keep any traffic from going that way. All right, so let's keep on going. See here once again. Okay, they've rerouted the trail because it goes down into a mud puddle down here and they've rerouted it to the right. But they've got this big piece of metal right here. Why not just pick that up? I'm not going to do it, but I mean, you know, if you had two people, you could probably pick that up and just lay it right there in front of the trail or prop it up against that tree to keep any traffic from going that way on the trail. Just just throwing it out to the people that maintain how pata. So you can see where you could come back here and hike for days and days and days. I mean, here's another trail going off to the left. I just came down that uh, just because I I don't want to make a detour. I don't want to get this one trail in today. Well, we'll just keep on going this way. Um, I don't know what this fence is all about. I guess there might be cattle or something in there. If I see any, I'll get it on the video. Um, but you could see I this would be impossible. Well, I mean, if you had the big mountain bike tires, you could probably get through here. But not not for me. I mean, it's way too sandy, way too horsey. Uh, you know, for this trail anyway. It, you know, like you like you saw, we did mountain bike the other trail. Uh, but uh, this would be way too difficult for me. I can't ride in conditions. Not 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 being an old fart like me. But uh, well, you can see there's a marshy area over here with some water. So I don't know. Let's keep on going. So the only thing I can think of for this fence being here. Is that this is they're preserving this as a natural area because uh, it is marshy down in there and I have seen a few birds along the way and then you can see the sign here it says boundary closed to hunting so maybe they're just kind of preserving this by having this fence here but I I don't know sometimes I don't have the answer for you well once again I'm just down from the fence I guess they're carting in another trail you can see the uh, the orange rags on the trees. So, I mean, you know, that's two more trails that we could come back and do at some point that I've never done. But I didn't want to get you to see this. This is a nice transition back into some big trees, uh, oak trees here for sure. And uh, it's, uh, I tell you what, it's just been a really good interest. Wasn't what, I, I mean, I knew it dove back into the trees uh, because the last time, you know, I kind of like investigated it. But, uh, you know, there's places in a pot that where you're hiking and uh, you're out in the sun the whole doggone time. You know, this, this portion or this trail, I'm, I've been in the shade most of the time here. So although it is getting late in the day, you know, but uh, so and plus, I mean, look how far I'm back here. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you're way, way back in the woods. I mean, you know, look, look here. I'm not sure this this is another trail. So, I mean, literally, you could come back here and just hike around for God knows how long. So here's, here's, so you could go this way or go that way. And I think that might even be a trail kind of right, right there. I'm not sure, but uh, man, I can, I can just spend days and days and days back here. Let's see what this post says over here. I'm just curious because well, look at here. Like maybe that's another trail. Let's see what this says. Uh, it says no horses beyond this point. Uh, so yeah, so only hiking through through there. So who knows? All right.